Uh, George Clooney and Amy Clooney headed for a divorce. Even after being together for years, an ultimate example of perfect alias Hollywood couple, George and Amy Clooney continue being on the radar of gossip makers and fake news spreaders who have new except baseless stories of the couple headed for divorce bill. Just last year, the National Enquirer claimed the couple was busy dating other people and that George Clooney was allegedly inviting other men to enjoy the company of Amo. In May 2019, the famous couple invited two lucky fans on a dream double date at their luxurious Lake Como villa in Italy as a part of a new campaign to raise donations for the Clooney Foundation for Justice which campaigns for the accountability for human rights abuses across the globe. Even this generous move by George and Emil Clooney was misinterpreted as an attempt by the former to find other people to date, which is a rather lame logic, who orchestrates an elaborate fundraiser to hunt for a date. Gossip Cop debunked the already shallow story when it checked in with a source close to the couple who, re who refuted the news, calling it nonsense, and added that the Clooney's were not having any relationship issues nor were they trying to woo dates by a contest. And what else is the bigger proof? Refuting all these fake theories than the fact that more than a year has passed since the news came out and George and Amy Clooney are still together? But that doesn't seem to stop tabloids who are pretty intent on posting gossips about the couple's impending divorce. While George's spokesperson has started, stated the story is as unsubstantial multiple times. But as much as the tabloids are obsessed with the fake news of the couple splitting, they are devoted to exaggerating their romance as well. The very inquirer that had published the story of the couple dating other people went ahead with the story of the Clooney's renewing their vows on their five-year anniversary, supposed to be held in Los Angeles. It was to be attended by stars like Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, etc. But the true story was that while they did celebrate their anniversary, it was in New York City, not Los Angeles and it certainly didn't involve any one renewing vows.